This morning, former NBA star Lamar Odom is reportedly showing small signs of improvement in the hospital. But there is new information today that Odom may have used cocaine in the days before he was found unconscious at a Nevada brothel. Entertainment Tonight co-host Kevin Frazier is outside Sunrise Hospital Medical Center in Las Vegas where Lamar Odom is recovering. Kevin, good morning. Good morning, Gail. You know, according to a source inside the hospital that is close to the family that I spoke with yesterday, there were small improvements for Lamar Odom. He squeezed Kim Kardashian's hand. He briefly opened up his eyes. But understand this, he is a long way from being out of the woods, and he is fighting for his life. The first 911 call came in around 3.15 p.m. Nevada time Tuesday from a female employee of the Love Ranch, where Lamar Odom had been a guest since Saturday. Can you hurry, please, because he's got uh, blood coming out of his nose, white stuff coming out of his mouth. They can't get him to wake up. He's, like, not, almost not breathing. Another male caller told operators about drugs he says Odom had been taking. He apparently had some cocaine on him that has he finished on he did, he did this on Saturday. So uh, as far as you know, the there's no cocaine since Saturday. That is correct. The caller also said Odom was taking large amounts of Reload, a sexual enhancement drug the FDA warns could be dangerous if mixed with certain other medications. Dennis Hoff is the owner of the Love Ranch. They said to roll him on his left side, and he started throwing up a, a lot. Entertainment tonight was allowed into the room at the brothel where Odom was discovered. The police looked through his things and they didn't tell us they found anything. The Nye County Sheriff confirms that a search warrant was executed early Wednesday morning for a sample of Odom's blood. Former Laker teammates Kobe Bryant and Trevor Ariza have visited Odom's bedside. Friends and family have kept a constant vigil here at the hospital and they've been going in to check on Lamar. The one thing they're being told is talk to him. He can hear you and that's the hopes that he will hear a voice recognizable and come out of that coma. His two older children were expected here last night and um, we'll have much more information on entertainment tonight. Thanks, Kevin.